Welcome grade 12s, we are here at How To EGD and we are smacking your final exams and in this video we'll be discussing question 3 which is isometric drawings in paper 2. Now let's first of all before we go to the memos and the actual questions look at what is stated here. The isometric will be complex with isometric and non-isometric lines as well as auxiliary views, circles and sections. All required auxiliary views and constructions including for the circles must be drawn by you. Hidden detail must only be shown if required. Let's have a look at the actual question that was asked last year. So here it is. It's in the download in the description below. So let's read together here. What is given? The front view and the top view of a jig. And of course the left view. The position of point S on the drawing sheet. That's here down below. Using scale 1 to 1, convert to the graphic view of the jig into a sectional isometric drawing on cutting plane RR. Okay, sectional isometric view. So now we're finding cutting plane RR. And you can see here where it runs. It is a half section. Okay, make S the lowest point of the drawing and show all construction and hidden details. Take time. Ladies and gentlemen, when you get to this question, why? Because it is 40 marks and you know you are going to get an isometric drawing. You must be able to draw these drawings with absolute confidence, okay? So you know you're going to get this question. Make sure you are well prepared to answer this question in full. If you look at the actual assessment criteria at the bottom, you'll see what are they giving marks for. The placement did you draw the auxiliary views required for this drawing? And auxiliary views will always be required where you see lines like this, which is, is going to be non-isometric lines, okay? Especially when you see degrees, you see auxiliary views being required. The base of this drawing, the upright parts, the circle and the hexagon there, and then the section. All of that counts towards your final 40 marks. I'm not going to spend time on drawing it, but here is the memo. So if we look at that, here are where the marks has gone. You'll see auxiliary views on top, necessary to get your angles correct, as well as that hexagon. Always, when there's a hexagon, you're going to need your auxiliary views. The base, which is mostly isometric lines, and then your non-isometric lines, you can see them here. All right, then you've got your hexagon, your isometric circle. Make sure you do not rub out your actual construction lines. That's important. And then we always encourage them is to remember the center lines whenever you have a circle you must have your center lines clearly shown or you're going to be losing marks and then you're hatching and make sure the hatching as your section changes the direction of that hatching changes although this is a casting the direction will still change because it's a half section here okay lots of detail the only way you're going to be drawing these drawings if as if you practice them let me show you the year before that memo Okay, there's the question of the year before that. So again, similarly asked, front view, top view, and left view. If you are anxious looking at this, okay, the only way to prepare is to draw, draw, draw. So please start with this one because the memo is also attached in the description and make sure you actually get this correct. There's the big blown up version of this memo. Some of you might have even drawn this one specifically. Those of you who've got JPEGD workbooks, this is also in the JPEGD workbook. And this was the question two years ago. Remember again, the center lines showing your construction details as well as your auxiliary views. All right, that's a quick overview of isometrics. The only biggest hack on these is to absolutely draw them as much as you can leading up to your final exams. We're going to have a look up next at your mechanical assembly, which is 50% of your paper too. See you next time.